In this video, I will demonstrate the new features of MassoLink version 2 software, how to set up MassoLink for use with multiple controllers, and how to transfer your files. To use MassoLink version 2 software with your Masso G3 controller, you need to have software version 4.01 or higher. For Masso G2 controllers, version 3.49 software or higher is needed. First, we must set up Masso to use Wi-Fi. Click Wi-Fi at the top of the screen and the Wi-Fi settings will open. Enter your Wi-Fi network name. Then, enter the password. You can now click Connect and Masso will get an address directly from your network and display it on the screen. Here we have 192.168.1.54. Remember your IP address for later. Alternatively, if you want an IP address that does not change each time you connect Masso to the network, you can connect fixed IP address and enter your own. You also need to enter your subnet mask and gateway address. If you're unsure what to enter, ask your network administrator. Now when you click connect, your Masso will have a permanent IP address, in this case 192.168.1.222. We now need to install the Masso Link software. Start by downloading Masso Link version 2 software from the Masso website. You can select between PC, Mac OS and Linux operating systems. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up and monitor two controllers on a Windows system. First create a folder on your PC. I'll call mine Masso Link. If you only have one controller, put a copy of the downloaded MassoLink.exe file into this folder. Otherwise create one folder for every controller you wish to use with MassoLink. Put them in the MassoLink folder you created. Give them a name that means something to you. I'm going to call my first folder Router and the second Lathe. Put one copy of the MassoLink.exe file into each of these two folders. Open the first folder, right click MassoLink.exe and create a shortcut using send to desktop. Rename the shortcut to the controller name, in my case, router. Double click the shortcut and MassoLink will start. A message will open saying settings file not found. Click OK and the new settings file will be created in the folder that I called router. You will not see this message next time when you start the program. In the machine name box, enter the name of the machine. Again, I'm going to call this one router. Enter the IP address of your Masso and press connect. At this time, you now you see a message come up from your system firewall. Simply click allow access and Masso will connect. Your Masso link is now connected ready for use. Repeat this step for each Masso link folder you created. I navigate to the Masso link lathe folder, right click MassoLink.exe and send to desktop. I select my icon and rename to lathe. I double click to open and enter the machine name of Lathe. I enter my Masso Lathe IP address followed by connect. I allow access through my Windows firewall and my Masso Lathe is connected. You can open multiple Masso Link connections simultaneously. Each instance of MassoLink will store its position information 
when the software is closed and next time will automatically open at the same location. That means you don't have to reposition windows when monitoring multiple machines. To send a file to your MASO, click and drag the file to MASO link. Enter the folder name you want to send the file to on your MASO flash drive. Leaving the folder name blank will place the files into the root directory of your flash drive. When you're ready, press send file. If you wish to reset the job counter to zero, click reset. To view your tool table, click tools data, followed by get tools data. This will download the tools data from your MASO. The first time you do this, you may be asked for permission. If you see this, just click OK to continue. To generate a written tool list, click Generate Text File and a text file will open in Notepad. A copy of it will be placed into the appropriate MasoLink folder. While your MASO is machining, MasoLink will display progress so that you can monitor it remotely. Requests to change tool and other machine alarms will be displayed on the screen as they occur.